It's a weird night because not only are we at one of the most iconic haunted locations. Guys, is that a, a metaphor for something? Right? The Raggedy Ann doll and the case behind them held together with money. Is that uh, the truth of the matter? Is that where the paranormal has come now? It's all about making money? A Raggedy Ann doll, which has nothing to do with the real story of the old Arnold estate, is now being held together with money? There it is right there. The metaphor for the paranormal today. Raggedy Ann doll, who's supposed to be representing a haunted doll, has a dollar bill right in front of it. Right in the, right in the handle. Maniacs, welcome back to the channel, your local bedhead here. Now, you're probably wondering why I look like shit, and it's not your eyes playing tricks on you, it's because I, I do. I, I haven't really had the time to wake up too much, but this video has been recommended to me so, so much uh, in the past few days now, and that is the second part to the Project Fear Conjuring series. Now, a lot of people know that the first part, to me, was a pretty much rehash of the Sam and Colby video, where it was more aggravating than anything, because we're kind of rewatching a, you know, People go through what Sam and Colby went through. A lot of people believe that Sam and Colby were duped and they were lied to. I'm one of those people who truly believes that Sam and Colby were duped and lied to. Um, they haven't come out and fully acknowledged that they feel like they have, but uh, who am I? Obviously, they probably want to just let go of all the controversy and drama because, you know, all that they can think of is just going ahead and doing what they have to do to continue their careers, which is understandable. It's not like I can't understand that. But at the same time, you kind of wish there was more acknowledgement to the debunking community for doing a really damn good job at doing what, honestly, should have been their jobs, in a sense. Um, was trying to debunk more and obviously they did a lot of tests they did test i'm not saying they didn't but i feel like they should have gone the extra mile because of the circumstances and what the actual method was like standing for and what it was going to do for the paranormal community i really think they should have delved into that more now obviously i i did at the time acknowledge that i do appreciate them for what they try to do but i really wish there was more to it and yes i am curious about that footage of the socks where satori and cody both had their shoes off they had socks on and they did the method. I'm curious to see that footage. They didn't release that footage, which kind of makes me think that they're hiding shit, which I don't want to think, but that's kind of what I get when I see that kind of kind of stuff happen. But we are going to go ahead and dive into part two. I'm very curious to see what these guys do. If you like this type of content, want some more content like this, always be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. All I do here is give honest reviews and honest opinions. So yes, I will be pausing it when I want to talk. I'm not going to try to talk over them. I'm going to say what's on my mind at the time. So if you like that type of content, you're probably going to really enjoy this content. So uh, let's go ahead and dive into the video and I'll give you guys my thoughts during and after the video. We're about to go outside and not under a roof anymore. And like, just be careful. Dude, this is super scary. Dude! Go, go. Coming! The people who believe that there is some darkness or evil at the house, they believe it comes from the woods. Sounded like someone was right there. <laughs> Whoa. If your friends send you in the woods by yourself, just say no. Wow, it really... It really is a rehash of Sam and Colby's video, isn't it? <laughs> like they're going out to the woods by themselves now. If your friend sends you out to the woods by yourself, don't do it. Um, say no. It, 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 it yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to see the um, why people are comparing it to the Sam and Colby series a lot. We are still at the Conjuring House right now. We've had such a wild night. If you do want to see that video, go and watch part one of our night at the Conjuring. The link for that will be in the description. Do not want to miss that because we're about to start part two and it's probably going to get even more bizarre. We have Cody and Satori the paranormal couple, just for anyone uh, new who may be watching, they hold hands and stuff how, starts happening. How everybody responded when they hear that name anymore. We have C Cody and Satori here. Uh. You know, I find it very interesting too that a lot of these paranormal channels kind of say, we think things are going to get more bizarre and scary as soon as the part two happens, right? Like, like haven't, they haven't even filmed it yet, but for some reason they're always saying like, we think it's going to get scarier and more uh, intense as we go on. It's like, well, how do you know that? <laughs> how do you know? Happening, knocking movement. They're almost like the human Ouija board, is what you say. I guess so, yeah. It's a very interesting human Ouija board. We just say we hold hands and talk to dead people, but it seems like the cast method is going to be the new... Yeah. The, the cast new method. method. There you go. Cody and Satori. Yeah, cast, <laughs> method. cast method. Then just another thing too, tonight we are joined by Connor, our amazing buddy Connor. Connor's also going to be with us tonight. And yeah, we're going to head to the basement and just continue where we left off. It's a good thing you chose the cast method, not the 
sack man. <laughs> Hold each other's Actually, hands that would that's good. That would be more accurate because when you find out the truth of the matter, you do feel like you got decked in the sack. So, honestly, yeah, that would have been more accurate. Into this sack. All right, after you, Tanner. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, standing next right, to the basement. I got you a little bit of a light. I got you. Grazie. All right, to the creepy basement. Right now we're in the basement. What room is this called? The basement. The well. The well. <laughs> Thanks, Al. What are the common spirits down here from the Conjuring House? I mean, some people have seen like a woman down here with like long hair covering her face. Some people have claimed to have heard like voices coming from the well. Different vibe in the basement. People. Definitely different vibe from upstairs. It's a lot heavier. I'd say we just continue doing the cast method for a little while and see where that Tell takes us. us. So Al's got the digital recorder rolling right now on the table. That'll just be recording the entire time we're down here so we won't know until we get home and review that if we captured anything or not but good idea though because like last time we didn't have any other gear going and maybe we'll get even more messages to come through on top of the messages you guys are yeah. giving us so we'll see <sighs> all right yeah we certainly will won't here we go all right if anybody's here i am in the room in the basement with the well so wherever you are, I'm gonna ask you to come towards me, okay? Anybody's here? You know, what I just found interesting is that I've seen a clip of them doing like a weird handshake together. Like every time their hands would connect during this handshake, the knocking would happen and they would all crack jokes and laugh. But for some reason, it takes a few minutes for them to catch up, right? The spirits to actually catch up with the, the fact that they're doing the method, but yet they can do a handshake and it will knock every time. It's weird, it's a weird thing. Oh God, can you come closer to me? You're very loud. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I'm gonna ask you, okay, hold on. One for yes, two for no, okay? He looks like he stared sure directly at the camera for a second, Cody. Yes. Okay. A, Ooh. B, C, C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, O. O. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. Is it gonna say Colby? Yeah. Come. Oh. Where? The woods. Let me guess. What the heck? A. Yeah, woods. the woods. Woods? Come to the woods? Oh my Ooh. god. Is that yes? Mm -hmm. Aren't the woods like notoriously very not a good place? Definitely haunted. I'm not sure. It's a whole different ballpark for us. So Definitely I'm Definitely sure. different spirits in the house. Okay, we might have what to- What is asking yeah, us to- Yeah, know. I'd like to know a bit more. <laughs> I want to know like what are what do you want to show us in the woods? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what exactly Why? do you want to show us in the woods? Yeah. Yeah. I heard that too. Can you, can, who are we talking to? Who, who wants us to go to the woods? No. No. You don't want to tell us? What, what happens if we go to the woods? We've heard this a couple times. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Did I pass it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought I heard something. Girls? Oh, yes. it wants both the girls. Oh. oh! You want the girls to go out? That Dude, was weird. I don't know. Well, I got that was weird. All through my body. That was weird. Let me, so, back. Let me go back a little bit. Oh. Look, at oh. look at Cody. Oh. Like that really late. Oh! <laughs> Gosh. I feel like they're insulting. It's just insulting. It really is, because they're treating them like idiots. Like, oh, like they're acting like they didn't know. It's just, it's just insulting, in my opinion. This is why I have an issue with the coding story method. Is because everybody, and I know there's a lot of people who watch them for entertainment purposes. And if you do, that's fine. I'm not trying to, to you know, ruin your day or anything like that. If it does, it does. But 
my opinion about this method is that they are treating people like they are just buffoons. It's an insult to any real and paranormal investigator going out there and trying to find real answers. To them, it's just a parlor trick, and they're fooling the, not the incompetent people, but the people who are naive into thinking that their method is legit. It's just, it's, it's like they're laughing in your face, and... Even Cody's, like, late response to that, oh, like, oh, that's interesting, oh. oh. You want the girls to go out? Dude, I don't know. Oh, I got chills all through my body. Oh. So there's been one time since we've been down here that I've heard come to the woods alone, but I've never had girls come to the woods. Oh, so I don't know what that's so about. So wait, 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 can, can the guys come with them? No, I don't, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Why? Why do you want the girls? Are you good or, or are you are you gonna are you gonna hurt them? A B C D E F G H I. No, wait a minute. A B C D E F F. A B C D E F G H I. I. A B C D E F G. Is it find out? No. That's so cool. That is That's terrifying. So cool. And I never know who these spirits are down here. Like, it's a completely What's different... Again? Hey, what's me. your name? Can we have your name? Please? For me? Because you're not telling us your name, you're making us not want to go to the woods. We don't trust you now. But if we know who we're talking to, we may actually do that. Can you give us a nickname? Did you yeah, something behind me. Something behind me. Like oh. oh. Is someone else coming closer? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Who is that? Who's that? Sounds like they're walking away. Yeah. A, B, C, D. A, B, A, A, B, C. Back? Back? What does that mean? Uh, come back upstairs? Or to the woods? A, B, C, D, E, F. C. Come. A, B, C. Did you just see that? How he automatically knew what it was? Like, it's Satori's job to be the one keeping track, but he's like, C. Like, he corrected her. Almost like he's getting... He's feeling probably a little bit sore after tapping his toe too much to where it's like he just wants to get the messages there and then. Like, just... That's why he corrected her. Like, C. Meant C. It's the small moments like that that really... You really got to pay attention for and, and to a lot of people that might be stretching it a little bit but to me it's like no because i just don't believe them anymore now it's easier to pick at and point at everything they're doing wrong and the suspicious the suspicious things that they're doing on screen it's just a lot easier now d e cellar Cellar. you want to go to the back of the cellar isn't that the, isn't that the place where uh that woman. the woman yeah. we touched uh, our roger roger yeah do you want men to go to the back of the cellar is that where she is? Okay. So we have a dividing part, yeah, like... They want to split us up. There oh, are is, two spirits yeah. here who want us both to go in different directions, or... It's the same girl. Same girl same. who wants us to take a hike. Yeah. Get the girls out Oh, of that's true, too. I didn't even think of that. But, like, why the woods? Like, girls come to the woods, come find out or whatever. Guys yeah, go to the back like of the base. Why not just, like, go upstairs or go outside the house? Yeah. Why the woods? Wait, uh, that is so I don't so know, Cody. Bizarre. Why don't you tell me? Something wants to split us up, girls in the woods, boys down here in the back. I would rather go 20 feet down there than to the woods. I'm just glad there's more boys here. <laughs> <laughs> I think Chelsea and I could handle ourselves. Yeah, I think you guys could too, to be honest. Do you want one of us guys to go over to the cellar, the back end of the basement? Okay. Is that a yes? Who do you want? Who? Which one of us 
I'm Dakota, that's Tanner, Connor, and Alex, and Cody. Do you want me to point? Waving at the camera. Connor, you're not going to be invited <laughs> in these things if you keep on fucking around. <laughs> I'm more scared of that than talking to the creepy dead person. <laughs> so you want Tanner to go down to the back. If Tanner goes over there, will you touch him? Will you do something to let us know that you're there? Will she? To find you, you know, what the fuck is this BS? You don't have to. It was just their their request. So it's not like... I think you have to. I think you have to. Oh, what? I mean, that's... I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just what we do. Hey, you know, I just thought of this too. If, let's say Cody is getting sore by tapping his toes too much, having Satori go the opposite direction might give him a break. Because... Again, they're trying to make it clear that right now, every time they hold hands, the method works. But if they don't, is the method still going to work? Or maybe they're trying to fool them into thinking they don't have to be around for the knocking to happen inside the house. So there's a lot of possibilities here. Now, personally, I think he might be just getting tired of using his toes, and that's why he is probably sending her an opposite direction. So he doesn't have to keep popping his toes, and then he can use the excuse, well, Satori's not here, so I can't really do my method. Even knowing we already know for a fact that Cody's able to do the method without Satori because of the footage that we saw. But I truly think that right now his toes are getting so sore because of the way he corrected her earlier that he's really wanting to kind of separate themselves so that he, does, he can take a break. Do you think so? I don't know. It's a possibility. When you're settled over there, and then we'll keep asking questions. How far? Oh, wait. How we go? All the way straight. So, I don't like this part in the slightest. I am about to listen to whatever and go all the way down by myself. I am crossing the threshold. All right, I am officially back here by myself. Are you well, okay? I don't know, it hurts really bad. You okay? okay? Yeah, like my neck is hurting really bad, like on this side, like all the way up. Oh. Really? Uh oh. I don't see anything. I'm okay. I'm probably. Fine. Is it like in your neck? Yeah, or it just feels like muscle, like I think. Like okay. it just hurts. Um, right, I'm over here now. I don't want to be that guy, but when you're standing there for a good portion or a period of time and you're holding your arm out like that, I'm sure it could affect your muscles. I mean, I've had. Last night when I was at work, I had pain going up and down my neck, so that's not really paranormal automatically. But thank you for pointing it out. Why did you want me over here? Why did you want me separated from the group? Are you happy he's over there? like him? Yes. Can I ask why? What about him? Tanner, how do you feel? I don't know why it separated me. They said they like you. But why do they like me? They're not answering that. Do I remind you of someone else? Or do you just like me? I listened, I came all the way over here. Can you show me or tell me why you wanted me away from everyone? Yeah, I can't, I can't really explain the, uh, the malfunctions in the audio. That is a bit weird to me. Could it be their camera? Of course it could. I mean, I'm not going to rule that out as, you know, a, not a possibility of being paranormal. But it it's just, it's hard, guys. It's really hard. Everything that revolves around Cody and Satori right now, it's very hard to take seriously. And you're probably wondering, why are you continuing to react to this stuff if Satori and Cody are involved? Because, honestly, it's, it's a good thing to cover this stuff. As much as I'm burnt out on this method, 
and hearing the A, B, C, D, E, F, G thing, it's also really important to point this shit out as much as possible because you don't want people getting conned. You don't want people getting taken advantage of. Right now, this is just, it's exhausting because I'm watching these people take, be taken advantage of. That's why it's exhausting to me. You wish you wish more paranormal investigators would go out of their way to be kind of blunt like that. It's like, I need to know for a fact you are not popping your joints. So either you take off your shoes or I'm just going to straight up just acknowledge that you're fake. And I'm not going to take anything you say seriously. That's what I would say. Because I would be tired of it. I'd be like, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be made out to be a fool on camera, because I need, I just need to be a good person, and I just need to accept everything you say. It's like f that. I'm not gonna be made out to be a fool. So that's why if Satori and Cody ever wanted to get a hold of me or ever wanted to do a collaboration with me, they need to go ahead and know that I am going to ask them to take off their shoes because I just want to, I want 100% proof that you are not fake. What's that? What was that? Something like that is scratching. Yeah. Pretty sure the boys experienced something like that too. Whoa. What? What's up? There's a loud bang right above my head. As a matter of fact, I think it was in that same exact room where the boys were in there and they heard like a scratching sound. There's nobody else in the house. Oh, oh it's back. back. Hi. What were you doing? No. Okay. Whoa. The furnace thing just turned on. <sighs> That's boring. Did bring Tanner back? Yeah, I might as well. It's too loud. Probably down there. Hey, Tanner. Careful. Careful. Jeez. Hey, Tanner. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to come back now? Sure. It's, we don't quite understand what's happening. It's like being very misleading. That's so weird. I think it's trying to scare. I think it is I trying to scare. I think it's trying to mess with you. I was just like prepared to be like grab, touch, scratch. All right, we got the wide camera set up again. Let's see if something's back. Trust me, it wasn't going to grab you. Hello? Yeah. A, B, C. D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y W Woods. You want the woods? What the heck? What would you do if we sent the guys out to the woods, not the girls? Would you be okay with that? No. No. What if we just go all go together yeah. and just not listen to this thing? I think we go to the bridge and then you guys hold hands again and see, like, I mean, I'm curious to see what types of noises we'll hear out there. Yeah, like yeah. outside, it's yeah. wild yeah. still. The noises have been so different here. I'll bring the thermal too. Yeah, the thermal yeah. Still, right? Okay, we're gonna hey, come except to the, the Except that the woods themselves are easy to, the noise could be so manipulated and messed up out there that it wouldn't be worth it. You know, because it's just so contaminated by everything that's going on with nature. It's just, it would be pointless to do it, honestly. Now, obviously, the noise would be the one thing I would not be concerned with. It would be actually finding something mysterious or seeing something on the thermal camera that would be more of interesting to me than the noise that comes out from the woods. We're, we're all going to go to the woods. Because you wouldn't tell us your name, this is our compromise. Is that okay? No. Oh, I to say something. A, B, C, D, E, F. A B C D E F G H I A B C D E F G find H out. I J K L M N find, find out. out. Or is it fine? Find you. Fine. Fine. Oh, fine. Fine. Oh, Just fine. like fine. fine. Like it's annoyed. Like fine. If that's how oh. I get you guys out there, that's how we'll do it. Was that fine or find out? Fine. Fine. F I N E. Yeah, fine. I'm fine. I'm nervous though, like for the first time tonight at the house, this actually feels like something a little more ominous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Everyone just be on like guard. Like this. we're about to go outside and not under a roof anymore. And like, just be careful. I can see, I can see why this series is annoying a lot of people. Um, and I don't think it's Project Fear's fault. I, again, I do blame it on the time they posted the videos instead of just posting them around the time the controversy was going down. I think it would have been a lot less painful for a lot of people because there were still a lot of people who still believed in Satori and Cody, but now everybody's more on the fence about Satori and Cody. So now everybody's annoyed that this video's come out because now it's just, a, again, it's a rehash of everything that we already have done. Um, and, and look, they, he just said, like, I think it's more ominous now.
but it's coming from a bunch of con artists. So how can we take what they say seriously, right? You're just going by intuition at that point when these guys have already been called out as fake. Now it just doesn't make any sense why you're saying all these things. It's like, are you really, do you, is it, do you really feel like it's ominous or are you just going by paranoia? As a matter of fact, Sam and Colby so far have done more to try to debunk Satori and Cody than Project Fear has. They're just going along with it. Listen, then we're going to the woods. I didn't think we'd be in the woods this whole time. No EVPs were captured while the group was in the well room. When we were here earlier on this floor, the knocking and the movement we were hearing was wood. Downstairs, it was clearly stone. Yeah. Like, what are we gonna hear in the wood? What is up, everybody? We are taking a quick break from this video to tell you all about Factor. We absolutely love Factor for so many reasons. Factor is the perfect meal solution if you're looking for fast and upscale options done easily. Feel up fast with Factor's restaurant quality meals that are ready to heat and eat whenever you are. Factor meals are 100% ready to heat and eat, so there is no prepping, cooking, or cleanup needed. Factor offers a variety of options Options that makes it easy to stick to my health and wellness goals. We've done the math and Factor is less expensive than takeout and every meal is dietitian approved to be both nutritious and delicious. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code FEAR50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you are an active subscriber. Again, use code FEAR50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and wellness shots for life with any active subscription. That's it. That's the ad. Let's, uh, let's get back to the video. If a ghost ever tells you to go into the woods, maybe don't. Unless you're in a big group. Maybe still don't. <laughs> <laughs> this weird, creepy guy that's talking to us turns out it's Al's relative this entire time. <laughs> Let's see what comes through. Why are all the lights on? Why is only that one on? Is there normally like a bunch of lights? They're yeah, normally yeah. all on. Only that all one's on. Does it take all the energy? I don't know. We have a trail that goes so people can see the path at night. So we are finally walking into the woods, and apparently there is supposed to be a bunch of guide lights that follow this path, and they're all off for some odd reason. Just got to note that. That's strange before coming here we were told by so many people that these woods are not to be messed with the people who believe that there is some darkness or evil at the house they believe it comes from the woods and something tricky something sinister is leading us out here and it's not good i have a bad feeling the river is raging and, and again and again they're they're letting satori and cody get to them i'm sorry at this point i'm 100 percent convinced like they're letting Satori and Cody get to them. They've heard the stories about the woods being the most evil. It's not a crazy thing for this guy to be going out there and feeling all the paranoia of the woods. And the woods are already scary as is. Even if there is no paranormal activity, you got to worry about wildlife. So, like, they're already scary at night. Yeah, it's not really a surprising uh, thing that, you know, they're freaking out as much as they are already. You want to start before the bridge, or do you want to go over? Because of the water, what do you think about audio? I mean, let's try it. I would just say someone get closer to them. Okay. We listened. We're out here. Nothing no, you didn't thermal. listen. The girls were supposed to go out there. Ready? Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. I hear it. I feel it on my feet. Somewhere else. They're like closer to Alex. I feel it right underneath my foot too. Is that where they are too? Point it Can at you Cody's come feet, please. To me? Are you trying to spell? Okay, so you're somebody that knows us. A B C D E F G G A B C D E F G H I. Girls. 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 What about girls? A, B, C, C. A, B, C, C, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, come. Where? That way? Why we'll let the girls go over the bridge by themselves? Oh, gosh. Why? You have to tell us why. Like, that's kind of how it works. Well, respectfully what do you mean over the like just like right there 
No, he wants him to go far? deeper. U, V, W, you will. You will see. No, there's something. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, L, M, N, N, A, A, no, N, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, not, a, B, C, oh. you will know. Oh my god. How far? What is it? She asked how far to go and it said, you will know. Is it asking just the girls? Yeah. Yes. Like, I want to go over the bridge. You guys okay doing that as a group? All of us going over the bridge? Yeah. yeah. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. I feel really weird doing this. <laughs> yeah. How are you guys feeling? Freaked out. Freaked out. I'm actually very curious on how this is going to work because now like, there's no wood, there's no cement, like, Here, grab trees. my wrist so it's louder. Yeah, they're here. Wow. You know. Now, just because I'm a novice at this and this is the first time I've seen this, like, is this, like, you guys feel it underneath your feet still? Like, no. I'm not feeling anything right now. I don't now. feel anything. Because it's definitely, there's like, some sort of knocking happening. I don't get it. It's like over here, right there. There's a stump or something, that root right there. Maybe. Can oh. you walk around? I would appreciate it. It's not like this ran right away. <laughs> Come on back. And they do that a lot, and something's about to happen right now. They do that a lot where they have to tell you what, what they think they ghost did to kind of make it to where it's like telling you what your mind should be thinking too, right? Like they're trying to convince you that the spirits are running away or coming back or things like that. Thank you. Spelling? What are you that? spelling? A, B, C, D, E, F. A, find out. Why'd she do that? Why'd she do that? Was it to show that she's not popping her joints so she lifted up her feet while the knocks were happening to throw people off? That's exactly what it felt like to me. That's exactly because they were looking at their feet. So I'm, I'm wondering if like, because C Cody, look at Cody's face right now. Look how he's looking over here. That is intense, man. He has an intense look on his face. But like he lifted, she lifted her feet up and he was still doing the knocking. So it's probably making them think like they're not really popping her. She's not popping her toes at least. Follow? Where are you going? That way? Follow the path? We can't because after a while we won't be on the property anymore. Are you beyond the property line? A, B, A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, A, L. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. Alone. Alone. You want somebody to go alone. What if I went alone? One of the girls? A no. 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 Does it have to be a girl? You want Chelsea to go? He wants a Tori to go. I'm not going. <laughs> they know that. <laughs> Charles, how do you feel about walking down there? I don't feel great about it. <laughs> Did it want to spell something? Is that what that was? Yeah. yeah. Spelling? A, B, B. Both? Both girls. Why can't it be one of the guys? No. <laughs> Can you spell it for me? Can you at least tell me why? No. Are you going to try to stop us if one of the guys goes down there? Not going to answer. Don't answer me. Chelsea, what do you want to do? Because I don't know if Cody knows what to say at that point. If you're okay with it. Because he's arguing back. I don't know if Cody knows what to say because he's arguing back with it. Right? He's arguing back. So, like, Cody's making it clear this is what they should do. And he's like, well, what if we actually just go ahead and do it? Are you going to stop us? And it doesn't even answer because he has no idea what to say.
A little bit. I'll go a little way. Will you hold my hand? I'm about to wear those reflectors. I'll hold your hand, but nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what are we doing? Chelsea, I'm already scared. <laughs> We're only five feet away. What's I'm honest, interesting about this, Cody, is the spirits know that like they can't communicate right now without you. I know. So like, what is it what gonna is, do? Yeah, what's going on? Crap, this is freaking scary. What? I feel like I'm seeing things like walking around in the wood line over this? here. I can't even see that far. My flashlight sucks. Dude, actually, like if you look at these reflections, I swear like there was one of them that just like disappeared. What the frick? So Chelsea's camera has the digital recorder still rolling on it, so they may actually get an EVP right now that we don't know about. And we won't know until the trip's over and we review it. She freaked out. I feel like you're walking slightly behind me just in case. <laughs> like, who's the first to get away? <laughs> no, I just literally can't see anything. Dude, what was that? What? Chelsea, don't no, dude, I am dead serious. It sounded like a, like a, huh. Like, I don't know, like a, dude, one of those reflections just Whoa. freaking disappeared again. I hope I got that on camera. Can't see anything. Dude, what was that? What? Can't see anything. Dude, what was that? What? Like, I don't know, like a, dude, one of those reflections just Whoa. freaking disappeared again. Yeah, it did. It did. Looks like they're coming back. That's yeah, a bit weird. It did now. though. Okay, we walked that far. Was that far enough? Did you see anything? No, honestly, it's so hard to see because our flashlights don't travel far. The only weird thing was her flashlight showed the red reflection of the property line and all of a sudden it blacked out like something stood in front of the, oh. the reflection tape. Do you think it was like waiting down there? I think so. But what do you think it meant when it said find out? I think if we went to the property line, I don't know. That's where it was hanging out. What about if you guys go to the property line? Welcome <laughs> to Project Fear. <laughs> Dakota always has an idea. Where's my fear gear? <laughs> you can have some. <laughs> we can have some if you, if you go down to the property line. I mean, we could just send Chelsea down there alone. That sounds like something Project Fear would do. I feel like I've been really shit on this year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, quick question. This would be a wild experiment, and Chelsea, this is up to you, because it's you. If you went down to the property line, they could do the cast method, and we could actually ask questions. Who am I gonna ask questions with? You're the, what we like to call the bait. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a digital recorder rolling on your camera. I'll go as far as I can. Okay, you're a badass. Oh, yeah. If you scream, we're running down there. Yeah, it's a full sprint. You're running that way, right? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Yeah, to Chelsea, <laughs> to Chelsea. You're right, you're right, you're right. Dude, this is super scary. If your friends send you in the woods by yourself, just say no. Got it? Hi. D. The spelling? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. L. Away. Look away. Look away. Look away. From, From Chelsea. Yes. I guess Dakota, take the camera off. I'm gonna take the camera off of her. Okay, we did that. Okay, I'm freaked out. I don't know why I ended up doing this. I'm just gonna show you what I'm seeing right now. So this is with infrared lighting. This is with no infrared. So this is what I can see right now. This is all I can see. Okay, I'm turning this back on because I can't see anything. Yeah, <sighs> that's a uh, Okay, we dark. looked away from Chelsea. What are you gonna do to her? You guys still there? Yes. yes. What are we getting here? Nothing yet. Do you at least have the thermal on me? Yes. Yes. Now I do. Are you here? Hello? It's gone. I, I think they're with her. <sighs> well, let's see if anything Where happens. Did my ankle out here?
What? 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 Go, go. What? Go. What? We're coming. It just sounded like something just like walked in front of me. Oh. I'm not kidding you. Okay, you're not gonna like what our experiment was, but. What did you do? Um, it said, look away, so we did. And then all of a sudden we started asking questions and it stopped replying. Signifying that it left us. And then you said, do. Like, Guys, this is, I feel like very off put right here. Like right over here. So I'm right here and it sounded like this. No. Like, no. but there's nothing here. Dude, we were a second away from something <laughs> happening to Chelsea. Yeah. Dude! Dude! Like, the whole or, time, of course. It's just, and of course, Cody was the one like, go! Like, getting everybody stirred up and running over there as soon as, like, as fast as possible. I can theorize what it could have meant why he decided to do that. I feel like he might have done it because he knew something was probably not going to happen. So the first ounce of anything happening, he decided to jump on it because he wanted more credibility to what was going down and going on. Right? So that, that would make sense why he would just get everybody running over there as soon as possible to make it sound like something paranormal was actually happening. He was probably waiting for that shot, that moment of anything happening. Because the woods, I mean, noise happens all the time out there. Just because she heard a footstep it does not mean it was necessarily a footstep. It could have been like a branch falling and hitting the ground. It could have been a, 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 an animal. Like, it could have been a lot of things, right? Now, they would have seen something on the thermal if it was an animal. That's kind of why I'm not thinking it was a uh, an animal. And it could have been paranormal. I'm not one to sit here and just say it wasn't automatically paranormal. But he, the first second that they happened, he was the first one to be like, you know, awkwardly, no, we got to go. I was freaked out. But, like, something right in this area, something feels really off. Like, you know when you get that gut feeling that you're like, okay, you need to listen to this? Yep. That's what I felt right over here. And I didn't even, like, necessarily hit the spot yet. It was, like, right over here. Did something happen here? Like, you know what I mean? Like, is there something going on here that like, well, let's look around quick. Like you have a flashlight, like what is over here in this specific spot? This is there anything? No, but this is the area that just felt really freaking off. Like right in this area. How old is this wall? Oh, so this used to be an old wagon trail. I feel like find some like dead body back here or something. Like I freaking called it. That's what I've been feeling too, Chels. Like I honestly feel like something happened in this spot. Okay, this is really bizarre. What do you want to do, Charles? What do you guys want me to do? What should we do? I don't know. Like, we feel like we're almost about to have something happen, but I don't know if that's good or bad. I'd say it's bad, but what do you want to do? It's your life on the line, so you, you kind of get to pick here. Can someone just walk with me real quick over to the freaking property line so we can just say we did it and say we walked over there and, like, just get it over with? Sure, let's do it. Okay. We're going. We're gonna just finish this dang thing. Good luck. Oh my gosh. Like, even though you're with me right now, I'm still terrified. Oh yeah. Hello? I know you just wanted one of the girls, but you didn't do anything, so now we're both here. Well, he was about to. <laughs> about to. Right? Hello? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, L, H, I, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, B, C, D, E, E, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, L, M, L, M, N, N. A, B, C, D, Look at his eyes, dude. D. He looks like he's either getting really annoyed or it, like in pain at this point. Like he wants to just get it right. A, B, C, D, E. E. He needs to come back. Yeah. Tanner needs to come back. Okay, well we made it to the end of the Conjuring property line. Proof, we made it to the end. Sounds like something's just creeping in the woods, like just following us, like off the path. I feel like we're just being looked at this whole time. And I feel like if I wasn't here, it'd do something. What, what was the... that? was a voice. That was a legitimate voice. What the? What the? What the? What the? What the, what the, what the, what the what is that? Dude!
That sounded like someone was right there. <laughs> that sounded like someone was right there. Oh my gosh. That was a legitimate voice. What the What the, f what the, f what the f what is that? What is like, I, I, I thought I was going to turn it around and they were going to be right there. We are in the woods, could be an animal, but we're also in the conjuring woods. And we were lured here. We and were specific. That's exactly the point. Because you're in the conjuring woods, you went out there full on expecting to have some sort of demonic or entity try to show itself. That's why your paranoia is at an all time high right now, because they are the conjuring woods, not just a normal bat but batch of woods. Spoiler alert, most of the woods I've been to have been pretty haunted. I've been in a haunted woods, and I've seen and heard things that I cannot explain. No animals. And I've heard footsteps walking alongside me. So I do genuinely believe that these woods are probably haunted. Do I think they're haunted by Satori and Cody? Not necessarily all the time, but I do think every time Satori and Cody are out there, I do think they are adding some sort of element of haunting. And not in the believable kind of way. We told to go into the woods. Is that you? That could be paranormal evidence right there. Were you trying to block our path? We're in the woods now. Ready to head back? Yeah, let's do it. That's a long walk back. It is a long walk back. I wonder if I just pissed off all the spirits now. Like whatever it was that wanted you to go down there and I just stayed with you. Screw that. Dude, there was a certain point where we got down there and it sounded like someone just came right out of the bushes and just like stopped right here, like blocking the path in between us. I can tell you right now it was not an animal. Did you guys hear like the yelling in the yeah. woods? Yes. Yeah, you would have seen mean, the thermal if it was an animal. gave it a good attempt. That's the most comfortable I am with like allowing one person to be bait. We don't know what could have happened. What do you guys say we go back maybe to the living room and yeah. do one last question and answer and wrap it up? Sounds yeah. good. No EVPs were captured. So right now we're back in the main living room. This is where we started off our night where everything kind of began. We experienced a lot outside. It was terrifying. I feel like something was legitimately trying to get you alone, Chelsea, and almost did. But now we're back inside and we're gonna do the cast method one more time with Cody and Satori, one final time. really loud. Hi. How are you? Abigail? A, B. A, B. A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Look at Cody's a, face I, the entire a, time. A, L. A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, A. Alex. You want to say something to Alex? Wait, in part one, didn't he, wasn't he bummed out that nothing talked to him? Or nothing was trying to, like, talk to him? I think that was in part one, wasn't it? And now his name gets brought up, I think. So far, nothing has come through to talk to you. No. Yeah, so I thought. Someone is looking for Steven? Steve. Steve? Somebody is looking for Steve. That's Alex's dad's name. Who? I don't even know what to say. Who? It's like you walked away to go ask. Who? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, H, they. They want to know why Sean left. Oh my god. Oh my, oh god. my goodness. What? <laughs> okay, so. It's weird, my mom's name is Sean. She has a boy's name, okay. but like, my mom and my dad got divorced when I was really young. So, I don't know who 
we're talking to though like they want to know why Sean left. So I'm assuming they're bringing up the divorce again, again. It's just really digging a knife into people, and it's not even the truth. It's just fucked up. I've never met my grandparents, any of them. My dad's mom died when he was like 10 years old. And his dad died when he, I don't even know how old my dad was, like probably in his 20s. They're keeping a distance, whoever. Right, Abigail's going back and forth. But they have questions, <laughs> so yeah. they're obviously curious. Yeah, well, I'm really curious to know who this is. Abigail, can you try to ask who this is? Someone just away. walks away. Oh. And then it starts walking back. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, H, A, B, A. You still spelling? Okay. No. Did they tell you? Okay. No. Was it a relative or a friend? Relative? Is it a man? A man. Okay. So somebody associated with Steve and then leaving? They're leaving. Okay. okay. Very standoffish. What the heck? Who could that be? I mean, the skeptic in me doesn't even want to say the name until I get it. That's okay. Just don't don't yeah. say it yet. Is there someone like in your family that is a male who could have asked that question? The only one that I would know of would be my dad's dad. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. More? I think he spelled it. He Who spelled. is Sherry? Does that make sense for Sherry? Yeah. yeah. That's my dad's other ex-wife. So my stepmom. So this person is saying, Who, Who is, is Sherry? Yeah. Well, she was the person that married my dad after my mom left. Is she still alive? She is. Still alive. So it sounds like this person was alive for your mom. Yeah. But wasn't alive for Sherry. Sherry. Yeah. So exactly. And is wondering why Sean left. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if this information is that uh, you can find this information online because Cody's st starting to talk like he may know the story also. Like obviously he's going along with everybody saying, and he's kind of getting more confirmation through them. But it does sound like he might have done the research on it. I'm just saying, and I know that's where people are automatically going to start hating on me, saying, well, you know, you're always going to associate that with them because, you know, you just don't believe them. And it's like, look, to me, at this point, they're just con artists. That's all there is to it. And I, again, I'm not trying to bring hatred. I know people think I'm bringing hatred. I'm not trying to. But it is very hard to keep my composure when I keep watching these guys do this to people. It's not fun to watch. It, it sucks to watch. But obviously... I, people wanted to see my reaction, so I'm reacting to it. And who is Sherry? And who is Sherry? Who do you think this is, Al? The only guess would be would be my dad's dad. Hmm. Can you at least confirm, is this my grandpa? Is this say my yes. dad's dad? Is this Steve's dad? Abigail, can you ask? Is this Steve's dad? And sure, you're not sure they won't tell you. Okay. Why are they so standoffish? I don't know. If it is my dad's dad, I've never met him. I don't know how he was. That could have exactly been how he was. I don't. I really don't know. Do you have anything you want to say out loud, Alex? If he is listening. I mean, the only thing I would. I wish I could have met you. I don't know anything about you. I would like to know more about you. So. Yeah, I, d I don't know. I mean, yeah, honestly, if you don't want to talk to me, this is like the one chance that you're going to get to talk to me pretty much. Like, and if you don't want to, then that's fine. But, I mean, I wish I would have known, like, for sure that who this is, but we'll see. I don't know. Yeah, that's loud. That was yeah. loud. I, 
Like I said, I can't force anything. I can't promise That's anything. So wild. That is so weird. Well, Abigail, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hi. That was a fast run. Okay. Well, we're going to let them have fun tonight. Okay? So do you know everybody by now? Okay. You think they're pretty all right? Okay, that's good. A, B, B, C. Brave. You think they're brave? Oh, let's go, Abigail! You're the first one ever! Now I know this whole thing's crap. <laughs> There's no way we're brave. Abigail, or is there anyone else that's here who wants to give one last message? Hello? Got a whole paragraph? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, You know, I gotta say, I gotta say, Cody has had a lot of very annoyed faces throughout this entire episode. And I've noticed them. I keep looking at his face to catch any sort of maybe gesture that he's annoyed and stuff and or in pain and i've seen a lot of those faces like he does look like he's getting aggravated looks like he's getting exhausted look like he's getting just completely annoyed like the way he just leaned down and grabbed her hand right there almost like he's doing it just to kind of like relieve stress from his toes so he can like grip onto her hands and maybe squeeze a little bit so he can like continue to do what he has to do to pop his toes do you know what I'm saying? Does that make any sense? It's just another theory. I could be completely wrong, but that's just, again, the vibe I get when I know what I know now. K-L-M, Tom. He said, have a cigar for me. Wow. I will. <laughs> Damn, Tommy introduced me to cigars, and every time I golf, <laughs> every time I'm on the road, every time I need to relax, I smoke a cigar, and I always think about you. Well, the next one you're gonna have to have for him again. <laughs> He's expecting it. Have a cigar? What kind of cigar should I have, Tommy? <laughs> <laughs> you know cigars more than I do. I wonder what it's gonna say. I don't know what that is. Hello? 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 <laughs> it's distant. It's like they're all over the place. Tom, are you still there? What's the brand? What type of cigar should I smoke? You're, you know way more than I do. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, A, word I? Q, R, S, T, U, C, Lakeville? In Lakeville? More? What, what's in Lakeville? That's where we grew up. That's where Tommy lived for a while in his final days, too. Is that what you're saying? That's where he is now? You see how it quickly just changed subjects right there? Yeah, because he didn't know what kind of cigars Tommy probably would have smoked the most. And, you know, obviously Dakota would have known the cigars. And the second it got too confusing and too detailed, he moved it over. And now they're talking about where he's from. Lakeville. Something you could probably find online. But the cigar thing would have been more personal. So, of course, he had to change the subject. At least you ran away, too. Well, you're yeah. going to have to find them tonight. Oh, wow. my gosh. That's crazy. Wow. So many That's things. Crazy. So many emotions tonight. Yeah. Like, how yeah. do you guys feel right now after this whole night? Like, no. I'm to, me, to me, it makes no sense. Why couldn't you just give the brand of the cigars that he used to smoke? Makes no effing sense to me. To me, that was just a complete... Oh, change the subject because I don't know what to say. Absolutely one of those moments. And, oh, I guess you have to find out for yourself. It's like, oh, okay, so, yeah, Tommy didn't know what kind of cigars he, he used to like, I guess. I'm just sitting here listening and, like, yeah. how do you feel? You guys have been, like, a conductor. We're going to sleep good. That's yeah. for sure. Every single one of these, when I get home, that's when I start replaying everything. 
because I'm very closed off in the moment. Mm -hmm. Like if I was just taking it all in as it happened, I don't know if I would be able to keep continuing mm -hmm. to do it. So I think once I get home and I'm by myself and just kind of... Well, you got to focus on mm -hmm. popping your think joints, yeah. yeah. We're going to leave you all to think about it. Yeah. yeah. And investigate the house because it seems like they're running around. So yeah. you're going to have to go find them. Through that. <laughs> We're gonna kind of maybe do a little bit here as a foursome, but honestly, like we probably don't have much. I don't have much left in me. Yeah. I'm drained. But thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Oh, thanks. So I think we we're done with Satori and Cody. Okay, so that's a big plus. We're actually, I think, done with Satori and Cody for this investigation now, which that's a big win in my opinion. Because yeah, to watch people get taken advantage of is just not fun for me. To Cody and Satori, we literally have like a half hour, hour till we have to get out of here, till the sun starts to come up. We're gonna go up to the second floor with the PS device, ask some questions, and then get out of here. Abigail, are you still here with us? Can you still hear us and see us? If there's anyone in here, we don't have Cody and Satori here anymore, but we do have this device. You can ask us things, you can tell us whatever you want. We'd love to know who's up here with us. Hmm. What? Weird. It's like, I won't let me turn it on. Really? It just says processing. Should we just grab the ovulus? Yeah. yeah. All right, we got the ovulus now. We're gonna use the ovulus. Abigail, if you're still here and you can still hear our voice, can you knock on the wall for us? Can you walk into this room with us? Abigail, are you still up here with us? And if you are, can you tell us if you're with anybody? Abigail, if you're here, can you talk to us through this device now? Can you tell us where to go right now in the house? Abigail, if you can hear our voice, we'd love to talk to you still. Can you speak with us? Is there anything that you can say that confirms any of the things that we talked to Cody and Satori about? <laughs> They're full of it. Let's keep walking. We'll go into this room. It's so interesting how, like, now that Cody and Satori are gone, it's almost like dead. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone in here? We've been told about objects being able to move up here on the second floor. Can you do something like that for us? Can you shut a door? Can you move a toy? Who are we speaking with? Can you make some sort of noise or knock on the wall? Let us know that you can hear us. Tom. Tom? Tom. Tom. No, no way. way. Wow. That's no way, dude. What are the chances? I thought he was going back to Lakeville. Yeah. Tommy, is Tommy here? Or is that just like one of the things that, cause you were asking like verify, like what was something we brought up? True. Yes, Tom was something we talked about a lot tonight. I don't ever remember getting Tom on the Ovulus once. No. Well, that's definitely confirmation. I mean, we literally asked for a word from our conversation downstairs and it said Tom. Ears. Ears? Are we supposed to listen for something? We're gonna go dead silent. We'll allow you to make the noise you wanna make. The fact that it got Tom is pretty interesting. I gotta be honest. Nothing. When you lived in this house, what did you feel? What did you and your family experience in this house? Abigail, who is the spirit, or what was the spirit that tormented the Perrin family? 
No one really knows. Was it a female spirit that was tormenting the Perrin family? You had to be here for all that, I'm sure. You would think, huh? Soldiers? 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 That's one of the stories, is one of the daughters of the Perrin family heard a whisper in her ear one night, there are seven dead soldiers buried in the walls. Whoever those seven soldiers were, like maybe they were one of the root causes of them being so tormented and so scared. It's definitely a possibility. Like, I'm curious, like if you were to like, completely gut this place and like even dig up the foundation if there wasn't like bodies buried i mean this. cody and satori off camera earlier told us that they've out they're finding new things all the time like they found a new little hidden compartment with old stuff in it like maybe this house is so old the land is even older i mean there's so many different layers to the history here I mean, yeah there, we know there were two wars fought when you that we, in well when you sit back and think about it most of the land out there just land in general is older than any of the houses built on it. So all the land could be very haunted, right? That's that's a very good possibility. Who knows how many people died on your property that you'll never know of. This vicinity on this land. What if it wasn't talking about the walls in the house, but buried in the walls on that path in the yeah, woods? Yeah, the stone walls. The stone walls. I don't know what it means. That's where, um, that's where Andrea Perrin believes that the, the bodies were buried, yeah. The walls of the actual home, or like you said, the walls of the, the path. Or is it like walls could even mean a metaphor for something else? We don't dirt, really... dirt, dirt. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Dude, okay, I'm not kidding you. That definitely makes me think the grounds, dirt. not the walls. You're literally just saying like, is it in the walls? Is it in the grounds? And uh, we well, just got dirt, dirt, whatever. The basement is a wall in the ground. So could it mean the walls in the basement? Or it's out there. There's something buried out there that. No one knows about yet. And even Satori was saying Very that possible. what she knows of the outside is that it just like the spirits like warn you about it. Like nothing like like necessarily evil or sinister, but like something's off in the woods. And we were talking about that together. I don't know if it's even on camera, but I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna find like a body out here. Yeah. Yes, I was even saying that like, I felt like something was like buried down there that we don't know about, that no one knows about. Like, I feel like there's a dead body somewhere here. Okay. Yikes. Now the woods weird. just got like way creepier. Like I don't, we can't obviously verify this, but what we're getting is really creepy. <laughs> Wait, did highway. You say highway? Highway. That path was basically the highway to get here. That was the carriage road. Oh. That was the, that's what I was asking Cody how old those stone walls were, and he said that they're super old because that was a carriage road to get here. Was that path? So that's pretty much a highway, right? Yeah. That would be really strange if like yeah, uh, uh, more darker, like heavier hauntings were actually like dead soldiers. It would make sense. That is one thing that predates the house here, is the, the wars fought on this land. It makes sense why they want the females to go out there too. Yeah, true. Like, oh. these are young men that were shipped off to war. Like, they kept wanting Chelsea and Satori to come out there, but not us. I'm not trying to be the bear of bad news, but we do have to get out of here pretty soon. The sun's going to be coming up in the next 20 minutes. I think we maybe go downstairs, give our final thoughts, and wrap it up. Well, how's everyone feeling? I'm utterly drained. Emotionally, spiritually, physically. I'm still trying to wrap my mind around like what happened tonight. Mm -hmm. This is not at all how I expected The Conjuring House to go. It was such a weird night because not only are we at one of the most iconic haunted locations, but like we did an experiment with two people who brought- Is that money in the, uh, the doorknob to the um, Annabelle doll behind the Raggedy Ann doll? Us, our deceased family, like money right there. That is money. That we never thought we would talk to again. What you guys just saw is something that we have never witnessed before, that we have never expected to witness. I know you guys all is that have a metaphor a lot of for something, right? The Raggedy Ann doll and the case behind them held together with money. Is that uh the truth of the matter? Is that where the paranormal has come now? It's all about making money. A Raggedy Ann doll, which has nothing to do with the real story of the old Arnold estate, is now being held together with money. Hmm. Sensing a little bit of a hidden message there. Is that what the paranormal has come to anymore? It's all about making money. Doesn't matter if it's real or not. As long as the people who are watching are entertained, we're making the money, that's all that matters.
questions and we do too whatever's in the basement does creep me out yeah yeah, yeah 100 like something 100%. down there is off putting there's something yeah. very bad in the basement and if we ever come back here again i feel like we'll spend a ton of time in that basement yeah i think you will it wants you yeah. yeah i didn't like that i didn't yeah. like that part in the slightest okay how about this if this video gets a hundred thousand likes tanner will come back and do the conjuring house all by himself. 100,000 yeah. likes. That's 100. a lot of likes. All right. That's pretty good. 100,000 likes. I'll do a challenge. Deal. Deal. Oh, that's the end of this video. We're going to wrap up here. I'm We're not sure. head home before <laughs> it gets too late. Comment below where you found the hidden rubber duck. There is a hidden rubber duck somewhere in this video. We are on to the next location. It's out. See that? Look at that right there. There it is right there. The metaphor for the paranormal today. Raggedy Ann doll, who's supposed to be representing a haunted doll, has a dollar bill right in front of it. Right in the, right in the handle. Alex's choice, next haunted house of this road trip. You guys wanna know where we're going? We're going to the, I'm just kidding, I'm not telling you yet. Okay, I wonder how many likes this video has. 29,000 likes in five days. I'm not sure if this video is ever gonna hit 100,000. I'm not gonna lie. People are just tired of Satori and Cody and people are actually getting burnt out on the Conjuring house. Um, unfortunately, that's just what's happened now. Okay, so that was the part two of the evil encounter at the real Conjuring house. I'm trying to think of what, what the evil encounter was. I guess maybe they would count the woods being evil. I guess that would count as an evil encounter. That's fine. Wasn't really clickbait. I guess it was, it was true. But anyways, guys, I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section. So please leave a comment down below. What did you guys think of this episode? I think it was better than episode one because we actually got a little bit more of this them doing their investigation instead of just Satori and Cody, even though in the last 10 minutes were only the investigation part and not the rest of it, which is all Satori and Cody revolved. So yeah, it's just, it's one of those things where it's like, it is what it is. The video came out, whatever. Um, but it is a, a bit draining now. I won't lie. The Conjuring series, I probably won't watch a Conjuring video in a long time after this, as a matter of fact, because I'm just so burnt out on, unfortunately, The Conjuring House. Not the Arnold Estate, but The Conjuring House. For some reason, it's become more of a product than it has an actual haunted location which the old Arnold Estate or um, the Harrisville Farmhouse or whatever you want to call it would have been more of a, an appropriate answer. I feel like the the real story is called the Harrisville Farmhouse or uh, the Ar old Arnold Estate is the real house with the real truth behind it. But the Conjuring House is just what everybody wants to make it out to be. And I think it's not what everybody makes it out to be. I think the real house is the old Harrisville Farmhouse or the old Arnold Estate. So let me know your comments down below comment please comment hit the like button get this video up to 200 likes and i will continue to uh, react to project fear but until next time guys please do take care